All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am very happy to tell you that we have finally, finally, finally got the PlayStation 2 working. Hello there everyone, it's Schismaweed, and I haven't uploaded to my YouTube channel in quite some time, and as you can tell by the title of the video, that we're doing something very special. So, um, this PlayStation 2 was bought at a pawn shop, and he didn't actually have it on the shelf for, for sale, um, he had it on the back shelf, and it's been sitting in there for a few months. And so one day I went in there and I asked him, I go, hey, can I buy that PlayStation 2 for me? He goes, well, we don't have no wires for it, so we can't hook it up to find out if it works. And I go, well, I'm willing to take the risk for you. So I went and bought it. I went and bought it. And then I went and bought the wires for it, hooked it up, and it finally turned on. As usual, these PlayStation 2s, as long as there haven't been gone through too many you know too many uh, bad things typically they work but unfortunately this particular one does turn on and everything works with it but the lens is broken the lens does not work so let me go ahead and open it up here and as you can see here here is the old lens I'm kind of staring at the uh, computer screen here anyway um, yeah so here's the old lens it don't work I've um, tried testing it out i've tried every single little method that you can even think of i've took the whole thing apart i cleaned it i've used rubbing alcohol i've even used water to try to clean it which you're not supposed to use water but i even tried to use water q-tips everything and it still didn't work it was still making these tick 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 noises tick 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 so i would only assume that it is broken so what i had did and the only thing else that's wrong with this thing is the um eject button does not want to stay closed but there it goes it stays closed if you fidget with it but anyway I went on Amazon and I went and bought some lenses now as you can see here I got not just one but I got two now, the only reason why I got two of them is because well I actually made a mistake so I didn't have quite enough money on my account when I well, I did have the money on there but when by the time Amazon decided to take the money out for these things um, I didn't have enough money on there so it gave me a notification on my email telling me that I have to buy these things again so I went and bought them again and I clicked the button buy again and then for some reason it didn't like do anything on my computer so I decided to click buy again and then it automatically bought another one full price because I didn't already had a gift card like eight dollars and 81 cents or some shit already on my Amazon account but anyway I ended up buying two of them so it cost me like $78 for this shit so yeah that's pretty much an L for me on that part but nonetheless I mean at least I got not just one but I got two of them and I did take one of these apart already I think this was the one right here so yeah, we're going to take this apart and we're going to install this brand new lens for this thing. Now, I probably should not probably put this lens directly in the middle of light like that. See, I don't know how delicate these lenses are, so I don't know exactly what the hell I'm doing. But I do know how to install these things because I just took this thing apart not that long ago. You know what let me go ahead and just put this piece of plastic over it just like that and put this box lightly on top of it so that way just in case the light does affect it it's not gonna fuck it up anyway all right so now what I want to do and hopefully this is not gonna be in your way so you guys can see I'm gonna finally take this thing apart again and so like I said, I've already took it apart once. I already have a screw right here that I just left out because I knew I didn't need to put it back in because I'm going to take it apart again. Now, so, do I, just, do I just rip it off? Is that what's going on? Uh-oh, what did I do? Hope it didn't break nothing. Hope it didn't break anything. 
Right, hoping I didn't break nothing. I don't think I did. This right here is kind of important. This is the on and off switch. All right, so last time I took this apart to look at it when I did a recording, I set this on top of my keyboard and it stopped the recording. But now I'm gonna take this part, set it on my bed, so that way it's completely away from my damn keyboard. That way that shit don't happen again. All right, so here is the important part right here. Now I need to take even come with these handy dandy little tools and uh, I think I'm gonna use them here so I need to take these ribbon strips off here so I'm gonna take this one off hopefully without breaking something of course I actually don't like using them tools I'm just gonna do it by hand or the way I did it before was this thing Boom, came right on out. That's way easier. And here is another one. Boom, that one's out. Now for the main one. Now this is very tricky because this motherfucker is hard as hell. Get out of here. And I don't want to damage this ribbon cable because this one I do believe I do not have. So I'm gonna have to take this off of this, this one, and use it. Or maybe I do have it, I don't know. Let me take a look at the new one here when I get this off of here. Perfect, now that's off of there. Okay, so yes, this definitely needs to go in like this. These little copper points on here need to match up with these copper points on the inside of this. doesn't really need to be pushed in there it just needs to be set in there correctly and then that little tab needs to be flipped over there we go we finally got that part done now here is more ribbon cable management go ahead and do that and I'll move this shit out of the way so you guys can see now I don't need this fucking crap up here In. I'm gonna place this in here correctly exactly the way it's supposed to be set in here like Sony intended Hold on now Let me see here. I think I need I'm missing something I need to put these these four little rubber tabs inside on here on the new lens for it to be stable I knew there was something I was missing I was like wait a minute what the hell is it's not it's not working you know why it's not working have these stabilizer tabs all right now that I got those off there and it's really kind of stupid because the guy probably should have uh, included these stabilizer tabs with this thing it didn't look properly inside the box well it should have been inside the bag actually but whatever it doesn't matter I actually don't even know if these little rubber pieces are even called stabilizer tabs but that's what I'm gonna call them because that's what they are that's pretty much what they do keep it a uh, level while this thing is spinning reading the disc so the lens can do its thing all right there we go now we're looking good. No recording? Yep. And we're going to make sure we pull these ribbon cables out. Well, I can 
get the there we go that thing sits in there perfectly I'm also kind of scared too because I also don't want hold on now we got some uh issues here hold up wait a minute let me put some tiffin in it well I'm not really scared I'm just going through all this stuff and I'm hoping that I got the right lens and all that and I hope I'm putting all this stuff together properly and all this stuff Ribbon cable goes right there. Oop, broke it. No, I'm just kidding. Now, this one's difficult to put in here. I gotta really put the pressure on it to put it in there. It's a good thing that little piece of cardboard or whatever it is that it's attached to is pretty strong for this. I've already taken this out of here like at least twice. The more I mess with it, the more gonna get weaker and weaker and not be able to come out I'll probably have to buy another one. Did it work? No it's not in there yet. I might be doing this wrong. There's no way I have to put this much pressure onto this ribbon cable. It's gotta be like a little clip thing. There we go. That little thing lifts up and relieves pressure from that thing so I can just slide this right in here. I thought that was no, kind of odd that I had to put that much pressure on that thing to put that ribbon cable in. It's like, whoa. All right, awesome. And now that that is done, push this back down. Boom. Boom. You know what? I never even noticed that was even a thing before. And uh, I do have this light kind of directly on the lens. It's not good. All right, next step. Let's put in the other ribbon cable right here. Can you hold them? These ones are fairly easy to put in. And this is a very short one, holy shit. It will work, I believe that is how you install a brand new lens for the PlayStation 2. Now we have not tested this thing out yet. And I need to put the cover back on. And let's go ahead and go through everything. Make sure that's the way that's supposed to be. That's the way that's supposed to be. This kind of scares me a little bit. Whatever. We'll uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. Put this back on. I'm excited, you guys. I'm excited. And that just snapped on like, like butter. That was nothing. But uh, I finally um, installed a brand new lens for this thing. Now the thing to do is test it out, find out if it, uh, you know, if it works. And that's exactly what I'm about to do right now. 
Okay, everyone, I have to film this on my cell phone, so, uh, yeah. Look, there's my little old featherweight laying down, taking my seat. Alright, so, now, I have everything hooked up, I got it all set up, so now, here's the moment of glory. Turn it on. Oh, it's not plugged in. Okay, now... <laughs> So now that we got the damn thing plugged in, well, now it's the moment of glory. Now the light on here is does it, it the LED light indicating the red and the the you know, whatever it's out. The LED light is is out. So now pressing it on, turning it on. There it is, and I have it hooked up to my sound bar with optical wire. Thank God for that. Now. Moment of truth. I'm going to hit browser. And I don't have a disk in yet. It's reading my memory cards. Let's go ahead and... Here. Let's go ahead and try a PlayStation 1 game first. Let's take it slow. I have these games here. Soul Reaver 2. Legacy of Cain, Blood Omen. The very first one. So let's pop this in here. And close it up. Reading. the fuck oh wait hold on see sometimes sometimes this thing likes to mess up here I got to take this exacto blade and like shimmy it in here because if this uh, top here is not on there correctly it will stop the reading process what the fuck No, don't tell me I bought the wrong fucking lens. All right, guys, so apparently on the website, it's saying that there's a particular spot on the lens right here and it's showing a scoped in uh, area where there's a itty bitty little you can't really it won't focus very well on the computer but there's a tiny little um, piece of solder that you have to remove you have to remove that in order for the lens to work so what I did is I go went ahead and took the damn thing apart and uh, remove that itty bitty little piece of solder and I did look on the old lens that was on there and that little piece of solder was not on the old lens but it also said on the same website that this particular uh, lens might not work for every model or some shit like that but anyway after removing that piece of solder let's go ahead and try this one more time Turn it on. Oh, God damn it. Okay, there we go. Got it turned on. So now, once again, let's go to browser. Oh, God. I got the hiccups. Let's go to browser. I do not have a disk in yet. Once again, this is the moment of truth. I'm going to try a PlayStation 1 game, the game that I actually want to play right now. Legacy of Kane Blood Omen, the very first one, 1996. Let's see if this will read. Uh oh, what happened? It just got reset. Uh oh Oh man, I tell you, this has been one giant nightmare after another with this PlayStation 2. Sometimes I feel like it's not even worth it. So, what had happened was, <clears throat> when I put the thing back together after I had found out about the little solder thing and then put the lens back in there, 
once I put the case back on there, look what happened. If it'll focus, this itty bitty little button is the power button. And you might be thinking, well, why isn't the power button inside the damn PlayStation 2? Because it got knocked off for me roughhousing it with the case. So thankfully, I have a PlayStation 2 remote. And if I press this button, it should turn on just like that. Thank God for a PlayStation 2 remote. Otherwise, this whole thing would have been thrown in the trash because this power button fell off and I have no way to put it back on. Anyway, now that we have the ability to turn it on, we found out about the little solder thing on the lens. We finally got that taken care of. We got the lens back in the PlayStation 2. Now, with all this shit done... Now we're going to open it up, put a disc in, and finally figure out if this damn thing works. Let me grab my controller, hit browser. Look, I even got bits and pieces and parts and shit from taking it apart so many damn times. I'm so sick of taking this PlayStation 2 apart so many times. And my local game store, game store just got a brand new, or not brand new, but just got a PlayStation Slim, a black one, that they only want $99 for it. And man, the amount of money that I've invested into this junk-ass PlayStation 2, I should have just saved my money and went and got that one. So let's go ahead and find out if this works. It's doing something. doesn't act like it's wanting to read it it's struggling it's going tick tick no try one more time It still isn't doing it. It's going tick, tick, tick. It's not gonna read it. Nope, it's not gonna read it. Why isn't it reading it? It's actually doing a lot more than what it was doing before with that little piece of solder on there. Um, fuck. Let me try another PlayStation 1 game, one that isn't so like matted up because that particular one is pretty matted up but this still shouldn't matter because it's a brand new lens it should read it like a charm regardless of it being matted up or scratched up this is a fairly clean disc so it should read it unless this is a particular type of uh, lens that don't want to read playstation one it's still making the same noise Is it gonna read it? It's not gonna do it. Nope. Fuck. Well, that's a goddamn fucking shame. All right, so, oh. If it isn't gonna read PlayStation 1 games, you already know it's not gonna read a PlayStation 2 game. This is a DVD-based game. This is basically every single PlayStation 2 game there is. Um, oh, this better fucking work. This better work. No, it's not reading it. Why isn't it reading it? What is the matter? What is the matter with you, you fucking junk ass piece of shit? I spent so much time. You fucking piece of shit. Read the disc.
Oh, you fucking junk. You goddamn junk ass piece of shit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am very happy to tell you that we have finally, finally, finally got the PlayStation 2 working. But before I actually show you why it's working and how I ended up getting it working, let me go ahead and explain a couple things to you. So as you can see on Amazon right here, this diagram of the lens that I bought. So I bought two of these lenses. This little scope in right here is basically saying that this little piece of solder on the lens, on that particular side of the lens, has to be removed in order for the lens to basically work. I don't know why they have it set up that way. I don't know why they ship them like that. I don't know. I'm not a uh, small time electronics wizard. I don't know how that shit works. Anyway, so this particular one that I have here, as you can see, if it will scope in, you guys might not be able to see it very, it won't fucking focus. Anyway, that particular spot on the old one, so the this is the new one that I got from Amazon, and the other, uh, well, I got two of them, and the other one is uh, right down there in the fucking trash can because I had scratched it way too much on there, and I ruined it, basically. It did not work no more after that, but the thing is, the old one <clears throat> that I took out of there, the original one that didn't even work from the, from, from the beginning, the only thing that I did was take a piece of rubbing alcohol on a cotton swab and just swabbed it really, really good and made sure it was clean on that little area right there that I talked about. This little area right there, right there where my little finger is pointing at right there. Make sure that that was super, super clean. And so now I plugged it all in and turned it all on and I got the disc in there and I was really, really, really surprised at what I saw. Hold on, hold on. Let's go to browser real quick just so we can guarantee it. I'm gonna grab this controller and put it on top of here. Look, reading, reading, reading. Uh oh, a disc popped up. PlayStation 2 disc. Look at that shit. We can play a PlayStation 2 now. Now, I had spent like $72 or $78 or something like that buying these goddamn lenses for this PlayStation 2. Now, if I would have known about this little issue right here on these lenses, I would have never spent that damn money to buy these fucking things. So now these things right here are no good to me. So you know what I'm doing? I'm tossing that one in the trash and the other one is in there too. I don't fucking need them no more. Now that I got this PlayStation 2 finally working and it's finally reading my PlayStation 2 games, I don't actually, I haven't even tried the PlayStation 1 games yet, but if it's reading the PlayStation 2 games, I'm sure it'll read the PlayStation 1 games. Obviously, this is the lens that came with the PlayStation 2 in general, so why wouldn't it read the PlayStation 2 or 1 games anyway? Anyway, this is going to be the end of this video. I'm going to go ahead and put the screws back into this thing because I didn't put the damn screws back in it because I had to take it apart multiple times, switch out those fucking lenses, find out which one was working, find out what the hell I needed to do, and I was praying and hoping that cleaning the one that originally that I took out of here fixed the issue and it finally did it finally fixed the issue so now I can play my PlayStation 2 so look forward to some gameplay of some Legacy of Kane series on my channel hell yeah give me a like and subscribe for this because I'm super hyped about this I spent way too much money on this damn PlayStation